Hey guys, Kyle here with Gnarly Knives, and um, actually I've been working on uh, this axe handle. I started a couple months, oh, a month and a half ago, and you know, just life stuff gets in the way, but I'm finally getting back to doing some work on it. And while I've been working on it, I've been using some other woodworking tools. I know we did that video, the wood carving kit, but I kind of was thinking while I was working on this a few minutes ago that why not talk about some of these tools that I'm using, you know, maybe give some of you people um, that are, you know, thinking about woodworking or maybe just getting in and, you know, maybe, you know, you got a couple of tools, you got a knife you can carve with, but, you know, what are some other things that you can work on or use to work on your projects with? Um, so this is just going to be a very quick video. Like I said, it's kind of off the cuff. It just popped into my head and, you know, I thought this might be an awesome idea. Um, one thing... You know, I gotta say, I had never heard of these up until maybe two months ago, probably a little before I started working on this handle. Um, but this here is called a share form. So basically, it's a rasp. It's a large rasp, but with uh, replaceable blades. So, eh, you know, it, you get kind of the in between, you know, because I would like to find a large rasp like this, about this size. Uh, but some of those can get pretty fairly expensive um, so this one here the sure form you know I think I picked this up at Home Depot uh, I was definitely under 20 bucks I think it was about $15 and the blades like I said they are replaceable um, the blades you can get those they're about six or seven dollars you know so I mean, if you pick up a couple extra blades and I mean I've been using this doing a lot of work the last couple of days and this thing honestly is just indispensable I, I, I cannot I'm I wish I had known about this a lot sooner, um, but it just, it works, it just takes, I mean, you can see all these just raining down, so it does work just like a rasp, but, um, you yeah, you do get stuff everywhere, uh, but it is, it's an amazing tool, and I think, um, you know, especially if you're starting to get into larger woodworking projects, you know, something like this is a very valuable tool. Um, another thing here... Um, I picked up probably three or four months ago uh, is a good or, or just in general a decent draw knife um, now these you know generally you need to clamp the wood into place um, I mean I have built a shave horse um, I, I will do a video on that at some point it's not perfect I get a few things on it I you know I need to work on the clamped portion of it um, but you know it something like this works with a great combination um so the idea just to simulate you know let's just pretend that this is clamped in so the idea is you know you just kind of you're able to ooh, work and remove large portions of material um now these also you know these can also get fairly expensive um this one i picked up i believe this was about 25 bucks um now it did need a little bit of work uh, I took it apart the other day, I uh, took the handles off, I sanded them down with some 150 grit sandpaper, and I uh, threw some boiled linseed oil on it, and this has become so much more comfortable, it did have a varnish on it, um, and these, the wood, I think it might, I think it might be a cherry, uh, but it is a very nice wood, um, and then the blade itself, this is the 8 inch, they come in smaller, larger, size it did have a paint on it so i did very similar process if you've seen the tomahawk video you know i definitely encourage checking that out um but i used that same stuff to strip the paint off of it and then i uh, was able to remove it sharpened it and this thing actually is put in some good work you know i definitely recommend getting one of these and this i mean i picked up i think this was 20 25 bucks you know not the highest end at some point i would like to get a nice one if i could find an old one you know, one that's maybe 80, you know, 100 years old. Um, definitely recommend. Uh, one thing I do want to do, it did come with this little blade protector. And it does work very well. It's very sufficient. Um, but one of these days soon, I have a bunch of little leather projects I want to do. Um, and I have some uh, thin scrap leather. So I want to make a wrap for this. And then, you know, a couple of thin pieces. I can tie it off. Uh, but that I, I have found to be a very very valuable tool to use and it's also great too not just you know doing the carving and shaping um, but you know I mean I collect my own materials I don't like to buy wood to work on generally the exception being 
you know, I, I don't have hickory really growing much in my area, at least none that I've seen. Um, but this was a, from a board I picked up offline um, and bought. Uh, but it's really good, too, for, uh, you know, I cut down a tree in my backyard last weekend. And I've been using this, uh, stripping the bark off uh, so I can get it ready to season it. And then hopefully, you know, probably about this time next year. It's not the, you know, thickest. I think at the base, at its thickest, it's, you know, probably, you know, maybe six, eight inches across. Uh, but so I will be able to get some great material out of that in the future. Um, I would actually like to do a video at some point talking about just drying and carrying wood uh, for people who are interested in um, going out and retrieving their own wood. Um, you know, you can find a lot of great material, especially, you know, living in uh, New England, uh, um, the northeastern woodlands. You know, we, we do get a very nice variety of different woods, hard and soft. Um, so, you know, having something like this, even if you're just using it for stripping the bark down, I mean, you know, I mean, 20, 25 bucks for something like that, it, and it makes short work out of it. You know, prior to that, you know, just using a regular pocket knife or a fixed blade. And yeah, you know, having great results with it, but, you know, talking about cutting the amount of time of that into a fraction. And, you know, this really will hog off a lot of material. Uh, and then a final thing, it's actually, it's three things, but they're all basically the same thing, just different sizes. Um, I picked up, ooh, uh, I got this at Home Depot as well. Uh, but these here, uh, these wood rasps, and they cool, they come with the handles. Uh, so it's a quarter inch, half inch, oh, so it's actually, I'm sorry, it's a half inch, three quarters, and a one inch. Uh, I've been using the one inch on this handle, and it's cool because you got the flat, and then you also have the round. So the rounds, I've actually been using to get into the transition, so to get where the handle starts to thin out and come down from where the head's going to be mounted and you're able to work your material in and you can get those nice round shapes um, I you know we have discussed in another video I'm not sure where it wound up it is kind of have tools all over the place here but those um, foreign hands where you have the wood file and the raft combo with the flat and round sides I mean, you can get those pick those up for like 10 bucks those are really worth it um, but this is just basically just a larger version, um, but, you know, like I say, you get the different sizes. And this, I mean, you know, not talking the highest quality out there, but, um, you know, Nicholson is a pretty good company. That's why I picked these up. Um, I, think, I don't know if I mentioned I did get these at Home Depot. They did have some other variants, uh, other companies, but um, I do really like Nicholson files. Those are the files I use, you know, for many of the sharpening videos that you've seen. Um, I really like Nicholson files. If I could, I would love to pick up some old files, you know, because, I mean, just like cars and music, they don't make them like they used to, but uh, Nicholson is a brand I do like um, for this stuff, and, you know, this, I picked up the three-pack, I think it was, you know, definitely less than 25 bucks, you know, actually, I think it was probably 18, 20 bucks, and it's cool, so you do also get a little bit of a chisel, um, so you do kind of get that multi-purpose. You got the round, the flat, and the chisel. And then, I mean, I wouldn't do, like, heavy striking, but it does have that little plate, but it just feels like plastic. So, I mean, I don't know if I'd be going too nuts on this with a hammer, but for doing some light chiseling work, I mean, unless, you know, you're doing it by hand, then absolutely go to town. Um, but I think I will at some point try them out a bit and that, see how they hold up um, with the hammering but then again if you're using a wooden mallet you know um you know like i said i just want to do this quick video just kind of show you guys some of the stuff i've been using you know i mean these are all things i mean i'm still learning i've only been doing this for probably two three years and really only the last year i'd say i've been doing this about three years now but the, the last year is when i've been starting to get into these larger projects um, and, you know, I'm still acquiring tools, you know, but I, I really want to take you guys along in that journey, especially for new people that, you know, weren't really sure what they want to get or, you know, where, especially if you're on a budget, you know, I mean, you don't want to go out and drop in tons of money. I mean, for example, the draw knife, you know, I mean, when I first picked this up, like I said, it was like 25, 
30 bucks, you know. Um, I mean, there were some I found that maybe close to 100 bucks, and I'm sure they're absolutely worth it, but, you know, when you're not really sure, hey, you know, how much am I going to use this? Is it really worth the investment? You know, so if you pick up one that's cheap, you can get a, you know, good feel for it. And then just the best quality? No, it, it is not. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's working pretty well. I mean, I got a good edge on it. It seems to be holding the edge decently. Um, I mean, from doing some of the parts on the hickory, there was one part I did come into a hard knot. So I do have a section of blade towards the middle, about an inch section, where I have some rolls in the edge. Um, but, you know, I mean, hickory is a very hard wood, especially the knots. But, you know, just even in general, I mean, pine, some of the pine knots, especially when they have uh, the pitch in them, you know, I mean, it's like chopping into glass. Um, but, you know, there are definitely different ranges of things. And this was something, you know, yeah, I had to put a little work in to it. I probably maybe, you know, so I paid probably 25 bucks for it and put an hour's worth of work into it. I mean, the stripping off, I used that can of varnish from the Tomahawk project. And I still have probably three quarters of that can left. You know, so I mean, that can, I think I paid what, 10 bucks for, 10, 12 bucks. But I, it's going to last me a long time. Um, you know, so I got this for 25 And then this thing just sat and let the paint get eaten away by that strip stuff. And I was able to get the handles and stuff all ready. And once that was cleaned, you know, I spent maybe 15, 20 minutes getting a decent edge on it. And, you know, I mean, I think it's still, you know, I mean, still shaving hair a little bit with it on the, some of the lesser used portions. Um, I mean, if you can find things and you're willing to put the work into it, you know, I mean, you can absolutely save yourself some money instead of spending a lot, you know. I mean, a good example is, I mean, here, I mean, the Tomahawk. I still do want to make a uh, leather mask for this. That's one of those leather projects I was talking about, you know. But, I mean, this thing has become indispensable. I mean, I'm using this a lot. A lot of the shaping out on this handle I've actually done with this choking up on it i want to actually make another handle you know maybe about eight inches long or so because i find doing this stuff i'm just up in the you know i'm only you know up within you know five six inches of the blade if i'm not fully choked up on it you know so i mean down here is great if you're doing you know if you want to knock little limbs and stuff off uh, but this thing is working absolutely great and because it's so light i mean you know you're not getting fatigued with it so quickly i mean i've definitely done a lot on this with the uh the Husqvarna carpenter's axe and that thing is amazing the thing is a little beast and I, I i love it but you know i mean this head on this oh god definitely weighs under a pound you know maybe three quarters of a pound and the head on the Husqvarna hatchet uh carving axe i don't know definitely at least two pounds maybe two and a quarter two and a half you know, so, I mean, after, you know, five, six, seven minutes of carving with that thing, I mean, your arm is getting worn out. You know, I know I'm not in the best shape, but, I mean, this thing here, you know, I think I was using it for about a half hour straight yesterday. And just still going strong with it. And especially, you know, if you get a good fine edge, I mean, this thing really will do the work for you. And this, you know, is the same thing just like with the draw knife. You know, this is something that was, you know, spent 30 bucks on. And, you know, with a little work with a file and a saw and then some sandpaper i mean got this thing into awesome working order and you don't have to take the paint off i just am not nuts on painted finishes so that's why i just did that vinegar patina on it um but you know you could just sharpen it leave it as is i mean the paint won't hurt anything at all i just kind of like that more old school look you know so i mean there's another thing there i mean you know you spend 30 bucks instead of spending you know you pick up ones like this um, in this shape that it is now, you know, probably 60, 80, 100 or more, you know. Uh, but I absolutely love this thing. And this thing has held up great. The steel on this, the 1055, has held up really, really well. You know, even that same knot that I was rolling the edge. And if anything, it has a more robust edge on that draw knife. You know, I mean, this thing is, you know, basically a Scandi ground um, tomahawk at this point. I was worried I might have, you know, thinned it a little too much, but... No, that's all gone away. This thing is still razor sharp. Not quite shaving like it was, but, you know, this thing is held up really great. I mean, they're all different things that you can get. You don't always have to get top quality right away. You know, the things to work up towards. Um, 
so these are just some stuff here that I like using and I will do more videos like this as I start acquiring some more tools you know just kind of bringing you guys along on this journey and you know you guys stay stay uh, safe have fun out there remember to keep carving stay sharp uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video and you guys have fun out there catch you later peace